Right, well, we're back out. Water sports just took a back burner at the moment. I'm gonna try and uh, do a bit of fishing. I haven't done a lot of fishing on the on my boat recently. So I'm gonna try and catch some mackerel. Um, and then maybe anchor up down Gernard or even East Cows. Try and get some, um, well, mixed bag really. I'm not, I haven't come out to specifically get anything. Hopefully some rays, probably gonna get some uh, smooth outs and stuff, but. But yeah, I mean, it's what, three o'clock now, quarter past three, so got a few hours. It's high tide now, wind with tide. It should turn in the next half hour, I guess. And then, uh, yeah, got a few hours at anchor, wherever we end up, Let's see if we can get some fish. But it's like 25 degrees today. I think this is gonna be the last day of summer, so and it's not very nice weather next week, so make the most of it and let's see what happens. All right, the anchor's down, change of plan. I'm literally just anchored in what, 55 foot of water just off the breakwater off cows. I thought, well, if I'm gonna be, you know, here during the night, or well, hopefully maybe nine in the dinter dark. I mean, the tide's turning now. I've got five, six hours here, five hours here. So I thought I'd drop it down here and have a go. The tide, it's quite a decent tide already, so, Get some baits down. Got some squid and some mackerel that I caught the other day, frozen mackerel. Like I said, I did have a little go for mackerel, but I haven't bait fished at anchor for a while, so I couldn't, you know, I wanted to get down there quick and get some actually baits down there. So the only trouble with anchoring here and fishing here is it is busy. It is right in the front of the breakwater, so obviously you can come in, you can go in the left of the river and go in from the right, the sailing boats and everything, but I mean, yeah, you know what sailing boats are like, they come past you, they, you know, they want to see how deep you're fishing, and you know, it's pretty much, so some of them have gone past me and I've been able to pretty much step on their boat. If I jumped off the edge of my boat, I would have got on their boat. You'd probably, you'd, you'd obviously know, you know, if, if any of you've got a boat, boat, you know, you boat fish, boat fish, you'll, uh, you'll understand they are just absolute people. Right, anyway, I'll uh, get some baits down and um, hopefully we get some fish. The rigs that I'm going to be using are just a normal two hook, like running leisure, but I've just got this one out and like I said, I haven't been for ages and, well, I don't know if you can see that, it's rusty. Still sort of sharp, but I mean, uh, if I get anything decent on that, you can tell, you can feel it. Well, you can't, but you can hear it. It's like all threaded and old and I might just, you know, I might just make a new one. And the other rig that I'm going to use is like a two small hooks. Um, yeah, just like a... You know, well, this one's broke. But um, but yeah, just like two hooks, two smaller hooks on a running, on a like mini runny leisure. Like, it's like, a, it's a mate, it's not, I didn't make it, I bought it because I be asked to uh, to make them to make the small chases I just I mean the, the longer ones are easy you know it's just you know me uh, two hooks and a swivel but um, but yeah and I'm just gonna be using squid on both of them hopefully I mean I might be able to get some mackerel at anchor I've done you know I've done it before but I'll give it a go but yeah squid and I might put a mackerel head down for a bass but anyway let's get it down there as you can see I've got a bite on that I think it's a smooth bound. The way that it ran. Just about to get my third rod out. a lot of line.
think it's a decent smooth round. Once I've been down about 20 minutes, not one bite. Just about to get the third rod out and uh, hey, I turned around and I heard the ratchet go. Ready yet? He's not ready yet. I would show it to you, but it's absolutely swallowed the hooks. So I'm just gonna have to cut it. Well, I'll show you. It's only a small one, but against that tide, it's not bad. I thought it was a smooth hand the way it was running. Just had my uh, backside out the old time there. Right, well. That's the first fish. That's the worst fish. I hate catching eels. I don't mind if they're big ones, but that was tiny, really. Probably about know, nine, ten pound. Maybe not even that. But against this tide, it put up a good scrap, so. Right, let's get it back down here then. I'm gonna get a third rod out and put a whole mackerel down. I've got the little, I've got the one with two small hooks. I've got the one with a running leisure, two hooks, two biggish hooks. And I'm just gonna put a big hook, uh, yeah, another rod down with one big hook, whole mackerel, frozen mackerel, because I haven't caught any fresh, straight through the head and drop it down, hopefully get a decent bass. But we'll see. I've uh, just had another bite on that rod just while I'm getting this frozen mackerel flapper sort of thing on the bigger on the on the big rod. Yeah he's still there. I mean, that's why it's so busy here that yeah, it's so busy that you've got boats coming that way, boats coming that way, and you just get chopped to bits in it. Nothing come of that.
I say big rod, it's not the big rod, it's just a, just a massive bait. I mean, I don't know if, I, I don't know if you can see it, but... Bass down there, love it. Right. Let's get this one down there. Check that bait. Because that was a that was a decent bite. And then um, get another one down with some little baits, hopefully try and get some bream. I'll tell you what it's hot. That's the trouble with fishing the soda in the summer, the weed is horrendous. Obviously some states the tides is different, but the majority of the time you get a decent bait down there, try it back, it's on the bottom, ten minutes later, you see your rod bent over double, you lift it up and it's just weed. All the time. Oh. And then obviously when you've got weed on it. doesn't hold bottom. And if you're not on the bottom, you ain't catching any fish. So many boats. I mean, it's my fault, I know I get that, because I'm obviously decided to anchor up right outside, well, it's not right outside, you know, quite far away from both entrances, but we are finished work at like two o'clock, got down to the boat about half two, quarter to three. You know, if I had it my way, I'd be, oh, that was a bite on that one. That looks like a bream bite. Um, yeah, I would have gone off the needles, gone out the back or round, whoop, round the nab or something like that, where it's, you know, it'd be completely different out there. But short afternoon session while the weather's like this, you know, you can't, you can't beat it. But yeah, that looked like a bream bite, that did. Oh yeah, that is definitely a bream. 100%. I need to clear this up after I get this in. trouble with bream, they've got such small mouths. I mean, this, luckily this is obviously the one with the small hooks, but. In other news, I missed him. Seems like he's still there though. Yeah, he's still there. Tell that it's a bream. I don't know if you can see the tip of my rod. If I lift it up a little bit, there you go. Look how fierce that is. That's like dagging. Oh, someone's got in right. Someone's got in the way of the red funnel there. Problem is, they're just one tap. I mean, so you know, you strike it and you sometimes miss it. Well, I do. That one doesn't look like a 
focus on the bottom anymore. The thing is, that's a big bay as well, it's a whole mackerel. Watch this, I'll put it down and he'll come back. not how to catch bream. Well, I'll leave it down for a sec. I think he's got a better chance of making himself rather than me striking it. Well, let's see what this one's doing. This boat. You can see it alone. Yeah. Right, it's going to be the fifth time lucky. Mind catching this bream because they're you know they're really nice to eat. Me and the missus caught a few mackerel the other day. We made um, fish cakes with it. Oh, it was unreal. If I could get some today, I'd do the same tonight. Best fish cakes I've ever tasted. And that's not me being biased. They actually were to be fair. Gone again. That goes again. Oh, here we go. That's on the old mackerel. That. That's on the old mackerel. I wonder what that is. Go on. Still there. I think it's such a big bay, I'm going to leave it a bit. Oh, yes. Come on. Well, I don't think it's a bass because the bass would have just had it and gone with it, but I reckon it's a big, oh wow, well, I reckon it's an eel. Bream seems to have gone. Come on. I say it's a big bay, I'm going to give it a little bit. Set. Whoa. 
doing there is I'm just just lifting it up lifting the weight up and feeling it hit the bottom because if it's not on the bottom you ain't gonna catch fish like I said earlier if it's just floating around it's like if you haven't got enough weight on it and there's too much tide for the weight you've got on the rod it would just be floating like mid water or, or in the water, bottom of the water column and if it's not on the bottom you ain't gonna catch anything so I just constantly keep on double checking that they're on the bottom you know, like I said, if they're not, you might as well be sat at home. Oh, green's back. See, that wasn't on the bottom when I when I was messing around with that rod. As soon as I, as soon as I let line out, it's back on the bottom. I've got another bite. I'm surprised it hasn't eaten all the all the bait, really. If I had someone else on board with me now, I'd jump in. Obviously not not, not one of my anchor, because I'll be down there before you can say seasick. But um, yeah, I'll definitely jump in. I mean, I am sweating. It's meant to be bad. This weather's meant to turn again this weekend and next week. So I'm glad that I'm out doing a little bit of fishing before it does. And then in October I'm going travelling for six months, so no boat fishing then. Well, maybe in Bali, but not in this country. That's a bit weird, that. If, uh... Notice Diet Coke for Bali. Always diet. All of that and nothing. A take on the big rod and my fault that I missed five bites on the small rod, which was definitely a dream. I might reel it in and uh I might reel it in and check the bait because I mean, yeah, I mean let's have a look, shall we? Trotted it back so far. Oh. Oh. That's why, because he was on the hook. Ow! I got flip flops on and they're spiky. Oh, he's just come off the oak. Oh, it's only a small one. Not you're not big enough to eat, but that means they're around. I mean, yeah, I, I know I'm using a towel, it's, but they've got teeth and them spikes, and they hurt. So uh, 
Yeah, I'll put him back and hopefully get a bigger one. Good job I checked the bait. No wonder I was missing it. I probably got it the first strike and it's been on there since. All right, let's get this one back. Ooh, let's get this one back and then we'll uh, try, and get, uh, try and get a bigger one. We can take it home. And hopefully that rod goes. Hopefully it's not an eel. But yeah, let's get this back down and try and get another one. Right, well I've reeled the rods in. It was just too weedy. You can probably tell if you can see my boat is just covered in weed. Uh, every time I got on the bottom, it was just the weed just picked up from the bottom and it was just no point. So I reeled in, I caught uh, a conga and that little bream, but that was it. I'm gonna lift up the anchor now, which is the most scariest, but not the scariest, but for me, it's the most dangerous for me on my own. So I'm gonna go up to the top lift over the rope and then uh, lift it up. Let's see what happens. So I've lifted the uh, boy over. Now we go up tide. And hopefully the boy picks it up. It's been stuck a couple of times, which is a bit scary, but. rope and you can feel the chain going through the buoy now and then it stopped and turn the boat and pull this is meant to this is a workout oh, that tide is ripping still Luckily the tide is pushing me towards the anchor on the buoy, so it's helping me. Still doesn't mean I'm pumped fit. Oh. Oh. anchor and boy and it didn't trip either so it's ready for next time Whew. if any of you know or own boat and do that if that doesn't knock you out I'm unfit but surely it does every time right well now I've done that so quick I'm gonna have another go, I'm gonna have a quick go of uh, feathers. I'll tell you what, this boat is dirty. I mean, this tide is ripping. Let's have a go with these feathers a couple of times. I mean, we'll be in. 50 foot of water. See all the mackerel that I've caught in the Solent this year is uh, being around these cows in 12 foot of water. I've never known, well, 
You know, I've caught them in 15 foot and stuff, but 12 foot of water around these cows. So, you know, fishing in 50 foot, I mean, I'm not, it's not saying that they're not gonna be here, but. I might have to invest in a winch, you know. I'm getting too old for this. Lifting that anchor like that. 31. I suppose I can put my flip flops back on now. Yeah, that tide is ripping. I mean, what I'm... I'm drifting at four knots. I'm just about to go. Just about to. Just about to drift into where the red jet comes in. So as soon as I get near the end of the breakwater, I think I'll just call it a day. I haven't got no bro uh, no fish to take home, but it's been nice to get out, you know. Lovely afternoon. Flat now though, isn't it? Look how flat it is. You're probably thinking, why is he going in? But you know, by the time I get in, get back onto the mooring, clean the boat, get back in the van, go home, have a shower and stuff. You know, yeah, I'm just about to go into the. Just about to go into the shipping, well, where the red jet comes in now, so. Call it a day, I think. Oh, and the red jet's coming out as well. Right, well, that's it, I think. I'm gonna, uh... I'm gonna head back up the river. And, uh... Head back up the river and get this, get the boat back on the mooring and uh, get home. Yeah, like I said, not many fish today, but you can't beat being out in the water in that weather. That weather was lovely. But yeah, till next time. I reckon I've got a serious tan lines around my eyes. I reckon I can't see out here, but that was fun.